Hi guys, good afternoon. Welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in today's video, I will be discussing about, uh, talking about my reaction to the first official trailer for, yes, it's finally here, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, which debuted just a little more than an hour ago online. Uh, you know, it was a, it, it caught me off guard because I wasn't expecting it till later tonight to pop up online because from what I read, it was supposed to be shown during um, some big sporting event on ESPN. I, I didn't get the specifics or the name of it, but uh, uh, no complaints here because uh, I watched it and it was great. Uh, it looks like a lot of fun, a very funny, exciting movie as it lies in, uh, in wait for us. So I'm very excited for it. You know, we got a little uh, taste uh, for it uh, back uh, in October and uh, we just got a short tease. Uh, that's all it was, was a very short teaser. But this one obviously had way, way more stuff in it. Uh, lots of exciting stuff, uh, what appear to be a few fight scenes, some funny character moments, Rocket teaching Baby Groot how to use the atomic bomb, or whatever that bomb was. <laughs> it was too much. I think the internet broke when we all saw how cute Baby Groot was, and just the way he was uh, acting, sounding, and talking. It was hilarious and that was probably the best part of the trailer was baby Groot himself and it was so great seeing Groot and Rocket back at it and seeing all of our characters it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun uh I can't remember the name of the of the beast but it looks like they uh they're fighting uh an army in that that uh is uh, that uses uh spaceships and they may be fighting the Ravagers again or the Ravagers will be their allies again and it looks like they're fighting some kind of giant monster which it looks like uh you know, it looks like uh, Drax, the destroyer, uh, jumps into it inside of it and he's inside of it while stabbing in the throat or something like, you know, and it, that's what it that's what it looks like to me. So it looks like he allows himself to get swallowed up by it and then stabs it on the inside or something. But I'm sure it's going to be an exciting, funny scene. And uh, they've added a lot more personality to Drax as well. I think this movie is going to see him trying to act more and more human almost or at least uh you know try to be a bit more emotional if that's the term i should use i'm not entirely sure but uh oh apparently i didn't realize this at first until i was uh, online immediately a, f a few seconds afterwards but that was our first we also got our first look at the character mantis in the trailer that's who the girl was with the antennas and she was the one telling star lord he had uh had a feelings of sexual love for gamora which was really funny and of course that triggered a hysterical reaction out of drax and uh that was just that was that was just too much i was like this this is funny this this is great but i think we're just watching baby groot in action yelling ah! while chasing that guy and then catching him with his uh, roots again, like his arm roots or whatever that was, and pulling him. That was awesome. Uh, the whole trailer itself was just fun. It looks like there's a lot of exciting, fun stuff ahead for us, and uh, I can't wait to see how it all uh, how it all uh, folds out, or how it unfolds, I should say. You know, uh, we fell in love with these characters a couple years ago, and now we get to see them back in action once again. And uh, this time, I think they can have a lot more fun with them. They can expand on all of them expand on them individually and of course uh their relationships to one another which is great you know we all immediately of course fell in love with Groot or Drax or Star-Lord or any of them but uh it's going to be a lot of fun seeing these guys back at it again after being off screen for a couple years and uh, I think there's some pretty amazing stuff uh in store for us so I'm excited for me personally it's very exciting it's a great present from Marvel this uh movie comes out May 5th 2017 which will be my 27th birthday so I am very much excited and looking forward to that thank you Marvel for such a wonderful birthday present or at least that's what I hope to say after I see it I'm sure I'm gonna love it I'm sure we all will because this is one of the most anticipated sequels of the year 
and uh, it looks like a lot of fun. So I'm excited for it. Uh, what did you guys think of the trailer? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Favorite part? Was it Baby Groot or was it something else? Did you like seeing our characters back in action and doing stuff? Please leave your thoughts, opinions, and your feedback down below in the comments section. No internet trolling, please. No hostility or negativity of any kind. You can uh, disagree with one another. Just please keep it civil and be respectful and polite about it. Uh, thank you so much for watching this reaction video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more trailer reaction videos like this one. Also check out my Facebook page in the description down below. I think you'll like what you see. I'll also attach a link to the trailer as well so you can watch it there if you haven't had a chance to see it yet or like me if you want to watch it again. Uh, thank you so much for joining me this afternoon here on The Edward. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the weekend if I don't hear from you again. Actually, I just remembered, you will be hearing from me again. Uh, stay tuned to check to stop by tomorrow for my reaction to the brand new first full-length trailer for The Mummy, which debuts tomorrow. Don't know exactly uh, when or what time, but it is coming tomorrow, so that's exciting. All right, guys, have a great rest of the weekend, and of course, until next time, may the Force be with you.